used to just saying, this is who we should go with, let's just do it, let's not fight it. You want real leadership, you want people to challenge the status quo, you want unification, you cannot just go with what is the status quo. You sometimes have to stand up, even if you lose everything. And let me tell you, I could lose everything, but that's not the point. It's about leadership, it's about sacrifice, and that's what you do when you believe in something. Mr. Chairman, I'm going to have to take the chance. Mr. I, uh, as I said before, my running, I am running to do what's best for the city, the state, and the country, and what's best for the party. And if I believe that I can serve the party best by running the primary, I will do that. Even if you're running against the incumbent? If I think that's the best thing for the party, I will do that. Give the voters a choice. <laughs> I guess I'm a little old-fashioned. And in fact, as I was coming here tonight, we were putting a letter together that will be mailed tomorrow. In it, I say, I will support whoever wins the caucus. And the reason being is, the reason being is, if we're going to win in November, we've got to be united. And I care more about the seat. I care more about the seat than I do about anything else. It's got to remain in Democratic hands. So whoever wins the caucus, I'm going to support. Sorry, Scott. <laughs> you know, you're an old-fashioned Democrat. I consider myself a new-fashioned Democrat. And I am going to follow the same position that Randall outlined. Uh, I will have to make that decision when time comes to me. Thank you. It's fine. I have to echo what Randall and uh, Woody said. I have to make that decision when time comes. Thank you all very much. I want to change my vote. <laughs> Thank you. 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 Thank you.